Today's video is sponsored by our very own Spring Store, but more about that later. Greetings my excellent friends and thank you for joining me for another episode of Daily Scuba News. So I have some super awesome news to share with you all today. A coral species that once thrived in the Florida Keys but sadly died due to coral bleaching is making a comeback. Throughout the 1970s and 80s, the Florida Keys were swarming with elk horn corals, but like I just said, they fell to coral bleaching and most of the elk horn coral was wiped out. But like I keep saying, this is a happy story, not a sad one. So the FWC and the Moat Marine Laboratory and Aquarium have joined forces to bring this coral back. Scientists will collect eggs and sperm from adult corals during coral spawning events and fertilize them in a lab. These corals will then be grown in nurseries until they grow large enough to be reintroduced back onto a reef. To make it easy to replant the corals, they've been grown in individual pucks. But they aren't just planting the same old coral, each tray contains a different generic variety of elk horn. So, how do they attach the new coral to the reef? Well, scuba divers use plastic cattle tags to mark where the new coral will go. They then use underwater drills to make shallow holes in their reef. Epoxy is placed at the bottom of each puck and then the corals gently get pushed into the drilled holes, securing it to the reef. Then it's just a monitoring game to see how they react to their new home and how fast they grow. That way, when they plant future coral, they'll know what works and what doesn't. Anyway, that's it for today. A nice short story, uh, but great work team. I hope the coral takes to the reef and that you can get the reef ecosystem back up and running soonish. I guess it's going to take some time, but hey, you're doing amazing work, so congratulations. As you might be aware, Mark is on holiday this week, so Ask Mark has changed to Ask Sean. So if you want to ask me any questions about the media and marketing world of scuba diving, then just use the hashtag AskSean and I will find and answer your question. Did you know that the Surface Interval, Deep Dive, Ask Mark, and of course Deco Stop Go Live first as a podcast before hitting YouTube and Instagram? You can listen to those shows wherever you get your podcasts. And if you're watching this on Instagram, why not heart the video and share it in your stories. And of course, to our YouTube family, don't forget to like, share, and if you haven't already, subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching, and as always, stay classy, scuba divers. Calling all scuba divers, do you want to stand out from the non-diving crowd? Do you want people to know that you are a scuba diver? Well then, our very own Spring Store will help you out. We stock tees, stickers, hoodies, phone cases, even mugs that all have a scuba diving theme to them. From our super popular emotional bolt snap tee, cave shark stickers, and our scuba dude hoodie, we have something for everybody. And our range is becoming more eco-friendly every single month thanks to Spring's eco-friendly range. Each order is printed fresh, which means less waste, less plastic, and it's better for the environment. And it also helps to battle clothing waste as well. To view our full range, just click on the link pinned in the comments. And hey, why not treat yourself to 10% off of your total order with the discount code DSN10. Okay, back to the video.